Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty busy, but I promised you guys a Jarvis tutorial this week, so um, I'm gonna do it while I'm sorting this room out. This is a very basic version of Jarvis that I plan to build upon with you. So this isn't the one that's been in the videos so far, but the stuff in the videos that you guys liked, put in the comments and I will do tutorials on how to add those. Okay, so step one, you need to make a dialogue flow account. Yeah, after you've done that, that use the small tool. Um, there's an easier way. You can click on the link down here and you can download the zip file of my Jarvis chatbot that I made in Dialogflow. You can go over to the tab and you can import it from a zip file and then you'll have all of the commands that I added um, and it'll know what its name is and things like that. If you want to experiment, play around with the other bots on there. Yeah, do that. Uh, and then you need to go to settings and get your API key. Go to GitHub, it's in the link in the description, and either clone or download the entire repository. That is a Node.js file. This step is gonna be the hardest. This is this is the hardest bit. Okay, so here's the thing. Node.js is really difficult to set up and it's different on any OS you're using. So I have made this Google presentation of like how to install it on Windows because that's the most difficult one. You should probably click that link as well. It's in the bottom. If you're on Linux, if you have a Linux machine, I, I, I recommend, or a Linux server even better, I recommend you doing, doing that instead. Where else can I put this? You need to put the entire repository into your, your base directory for Node.js, wherever you're using it. Then you need to go into whatever text editor you're using and you need to copy that little code we copied earlier from your dialogue flow into this file here. So that is going to link it to your chatbot, not mine. And then you, you run it. If you don't know how to do that, go to your command line, whether it's PowerShell or, God forbid, command prompt. Maybe it's just the terminal in Linux, like a normal person. Go into that folder type node app.js and it will run Jarvis. Then all you have to do is open your browser, go to HTTPS, localhost, port 3000, there's Jarvis. Uh, we're also gonna be building Jarvis into other stuff. That was easy, wasn't it? 